Skyler it is. What is up, Finn fans? So, I was waiting until 11.30 for the press conference to make this video. Talking, I like was going to make a video saying, will to apply. And then I was like, just wait. Because normally I make my videos the night before, edit them, and then pre-release them for 10 a.m. If you ever notice, my videos usually come out at 10 a.m. And last night, I made two videos. Uh, I'm going to obviously start predicting uh, picks and prediction for the wild card. That will be out later, uh, maybe even tomorrow. And then I was going to do a video, will to apply. And then I was like, just wait. Wait till 11.30 when uh, Mike McDaniel has his press conference, and you'll find out. And I find out. Two will not be playing. Um... Does that hurt the team? Yes, of course it hurts the team. The fact that, and I'm going to talk about this in the year in review of the team when I when I do it. Hopefully it's not anytime soon, but just a plethora of injuries on the defensive side, on the offensive line. You know, everyone wants to say like, oh, you know, Brian Flores did the, you know, had the same winning record with, you know, less talent. And I beg to differ in some aspects of that quote. Because he had a better defense, and the offensive line, to me, hasn't really gotten much better. It did get better. I'm not going to say it hasn't, but it hasn't gotten substantially better due to the fact that we ha are missing five tackles. We have uh, a left guard that is not, like, th there's so many, but that's not what this video is about. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's a video in itself where I talk, I review the team. Move on. Two is not playing. Uh, Tron Armstead might not even be playing. I'm going to be talking about that as well. But the fact that Tua is not playing um, sucks. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, he should play because, you know, pick it with the, with the Steelers played. And I can raffle off a list of, of players that have had multiple concussions or have had mo concussions and have gone out of concussion protocol in less than a day. That's not the problem here. And that's not the case. It's all different for different players. The The severity of Tua's concussion against the Bengals is something that you don't want to overlook. It's something that you don't want to rush him through. But him not playing is a problem. Him not playing goes into his assessment. Go back. I'll even try to pin the video so it'll pop up like over here. Go back and watch my prediction of Tua. And what I wanted to see stat-wise from Tua, which I talked about when I did the stats video on Monday. And I said Tua's got to play a full year. And his injury history, which I've talked about when he got drafted, which I've talked about countless times, is a problem. The best ability is availability. And that is pertinent to the season. We were hot. When we faced the Jets, when we faced the Bengals, and when we faced the uh, Vikings. If Tua was at, at the helm at those three games, I honestly think we would have won them. Which means, instead of being 8-3 and three after the Titans, uh, the Texans game, we would have been 11-0 and 0 heading to San Francisco. Now, San Francisco, San Francisco, Chargers, Buffalo, um, and the Packers all would have been losses because of the way Tua played. Except for Buffalo. Buffalo is not to his fault at all. And if you think it's to his fault, you're wrong. But San Fran, L.A., and Green Bay would have all been losses the way he played. Unless he didn't get a concussion against Green Bay, then we would have won that game as well. Because those three interceptions lost us the game. But he, ne he needs to take a step back. And he, he needs to really think about playing time. And the Miami Dolphins need to take a step back. And they really need to think about his future health-wise, but also with the team, because he, he as, as much as I think he will play well, and as much as I thought he played well in that five-game winning streak, him not being available and him not being able to make the field, you know, Kirk Cousins, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, I think Joe Burrow missed a game or two this week, season. No, I don't think he did. These are quarterbacks that are helping their teams win and have played the full season. That's what we need out of Tua. He has shown he can help us win. The Buffalo Bills game, Baltimore Ravens game, 
the Bears, the Lions, the Browns game was his best game of the year. The Browns game was the Miami Dolphins' best game of the year. On defense, shut down the Browns. On offense, did whatever they wanted to do. But showed throughout the year, you know, those games that, okay, we could depend on Tua. Tua can win us shootouts. But now we can't depend on Tua because for the past three years he's been here, he's been injured and he hasn't played a full season. So that's something that the Miami Dolphins organization needs to stay, take a step back, right? Now, this offseason, they have to decide, are they going to pick up his fifth-year option, right? Which is a lot of money. They don't have to. He's under contract for 2023, but they need to decide. Are they going to pick up his fifth-year option, or are they going to let him play 2023 and then decide there, you know, we'll give him some type of contract to keep him under the house and blah, blah, blah. But he's under contract for next year. He's not going anywhere. So anyone who thinks he's going to get cut, he's going to get this, that, I doubt it. He's under contract. But they need to think about the future, and they need to think about next year. Because Teddy Bridgewater... He just wasn't cutting it. Also, the fact that he can't start and finish a game. Plain and simple. Skylar Thompson, super raw, super talented. Um, I'm going to talk more about what I need to see from Skylar Friday when we preview the game. But go watch my film breakdown. Some of them, you know, and, and watch it to the end, please. And listen to what I say at the end. My thoughts on Skylar, please. But we'll talk about Skylar there. But you saw a huge drop-off. From talent at quarterback once Tua went out. Especially from Teddy. Who's supposed to be the backup? Who's supposed to be the guy who's supposed to... How many times are we going to say supposed to be dependent if Tua got injured? I mean, he couldn't even stay healthy. And he wasn't... You know, he was decent, but it just was different. So the Dolphins need to think about that quarterback situation. I know a lot of people are like, well, what are we going to do, Doug? We don't have a first. Uh, and we're in cap space hell. The cap space isn't real. You'll see... When I start making the cap space and the cut and resigns and all these videos in the offseason, the Miami Dolphins can get like 50 million in cap space like that and not, and not by losing a ton of talent. I will show you everything. Don't worry about cap space. That's a non existent thing. Saints showed it by going from negative 60 million to over the cap. So don't even worry about that. But they do need to think about the quarterback position because the quarterback play is what lost us the Patriot game. The quarterback play is what lost us the Jet game. The quarterback play is what lost us the Vikings game. Our defense forced the Vikings to punt the ball 10 times. That's with Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Cooks. Forced them to punt 10 times. We need to really think about that. But let me get into some of the things that Mike McDaniel said. So McDaniel said Skyler's starting quarterback today, but Bridgewater is still working to prepare himself to be capable on Sunday to play. Can't afford any setbacks. Best case scenario, Bridgewater's the backup. But Skyler's the starter. And again, I'll talk more about that on Friday. McDaniel said Tua is learning. He needs to listen to advice of medical professionals. He was incredibly... Uh, he was an incredible part of our entire se entire season. Eight of our wins were the results of him playing quarterback amongst those team amongst the team. Yeah, hundred percent. There's there's no taking that away. And, and yeah, McDaniel said Tua hasn't had any setbacks, but has compound. This is this drove me nuts when I saw this. McDaniel said Tua hasn't had any setbacks, but has compounding variables in play. Doctors supposed to consider past concussions in clearing a player. Uh, that could be coming into play. The man said, to, hasn't had any setbacks, but compounding variables. Just stop beating around the bush and say he's had setbacks. Or he, you know, they were worried about such and such. Like, compounding variables. Has any concerns been raised by doctors about Tua playing again? Does the team expect him to resume his career? McDaniel declined to answer, saying, I'm just thinking about him getting fully healthy as a human being. 100%. We all are. First and foremost, Tua needs to decide as a human being, as a father, as a son, as a husband, his future versus the quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. The answer from McDaniel suggests Skyler likely to start Sunday. Teddy won't be uh, able to get many reps, if any. If we are in a situation on Sunday, we need to play him that, that I have trust in. Yeah, exactly. Switching roles here from Tua real quick. Uh, McDaniel said Armstead feels frustrated, uncertain. Uh, if he's returning this season with regards, um, hold on. Tyron Armstead received Dolphins Media 2020 Good Guy Award. 
does he expect to play? Working around the clock, trying to do everything I can, but dealing with quite a bit this year. Uh, I want nothing more than to be out there with the guys in Buffalo on Sunday. The Miami Dolphins, do, you know, they're, they're playing their pl- first playoff game in six years without their top five tackles. Five. Arm said, hip, foot, knee, pectoral said, for me, it's not a pain thing. It's a function of the muscle. If I can go Sunday, I'm going. Said, uh, right leg has been an issue. He also opted out in the beginning of the year to get um, surgery on his toe. Armstead said he opted against having surgery, ending uh, season-ending surgery in week one on his toe, though one doctor recommended it. So it's like, we're, I've never, we're so snake-bitten when it comes to health. Manuel Ogba, Nick Needham, Trill Williams, um, I'm not even going to, I'm not naming Byron Jones cause he's not an injury situation at all. I'm not even worried about that. <clears throat> Barry's also said besides Dolphins top five offensive tackles, Liam's been uh, being unable to practice Bradley Chubb also not practicing Raheem Mostert, obviously not a practice today, nor was Tua who is out Sunday and hasn't been cleared. It's like, I can raffle off the list of injuries. Austin Jackson, Liam Eikenberg, you know, the five tackles, our corners, even Xavier Howard, who's not playing like the X. He was getting torched by a rookie last week. You're going into the, you know, I was, I, the season came out, the schedule came out and I looked and I was like, we got a late, late bye. That's going to be perfect. If we get banged up, we hit that bye week, we get healthy, we jump right back into it. The bye week came, we got more and more <laughs> injured. Like apparently it just kept on falling as the bye week came. It's just it's something I'm gonna talk about in the post game in the um season in review, but Tua is not playing. Tua needs to think about his career. Tua needs to think about his mental health. Tua needs to think about his future as a human being before football. But it's Skyler who's gonna go. Go watch my film breakdown. I talk a lot about his capabilities. I talk a lot about what he can do. I talk a lot about what he shows he can do. And he's very capable. Like I said, I'll talk more about this on Friday. But you notice with Tua at the helm against Buffalo, we've won or lost by two points, if that. you got to be able to match their offense in Buffalo. Our off, our defense isn't going to be able to stop them. you got to go toe for toe. can't have three and outs. You have to be able to match their offensive production. Can Skyler do it? I'll talk about it on Friday. Uh, but yeah, two is not playing. Um, that's a problem. Um, and, and it's a problem from from a playing and a winning standpoint. He, like I, I'll say for the fourth time, he needs to figure himself out. Uh, but that's a discussion that I'm going to have with you guys when I break down his season and his production and his future with the Miami Dolphins. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know a lot of doom and gloom. <laughs> you know. Oh, we're going to get blown out there. It's going to be like the TCU uh, Georgia game. We're going to get destroyed. Um, we'll see. I'll talk about that on a Friday. But other than that, guys, let's. we're in the playoffs still. <laughs> talk about limping in. We, we crawled in with a completely injured Dolphin team. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to do the picks and preview for the wild card games. And then Friday's the preview. Saturday. Hang out, watch some football. I'll see you guys Sunday. But other than that, like usual, stay classy. Offense up.